Hi, I'm back, and let's. I'm going to give you a more realistic picture on how we draw those isomers of heptane. Now, heptane has a formula of C7H16. If you want to draw all the isomers, it's best to be systematic. So let's draw out the carbon-carbon chains, because only carbon can be bonded to more than one atom that we might get from putting in seven carbons in a row. Start with seven carbons in a row, and it looks like there's only really only one way, six, seven. We could also draw something like this. But this number two and number one are actually the same molecules because if you look at this they simply each carbon at the end is only connected to one carbon and each carbon in the middle is connected to two other carbons these are three-dimensional objects which we're looking at in two dimensions so in reality these are both the same so we're only going to worry about one so we now have so we're only going to look at this one and we call, and we'll now have to fill out or use up the rest of the hydrogens and forming four bonds to each carbon. So I'll use red for the hydrogen, and then we're one, two, three. That's four bonds to that carbon. Now there's four bonds to this carbon, four bonds to this carbon. Um, let's see, well, really, we can just put maybe CH2, and that will kind of be the same as, these are kind of the same. So we can say CH2. CH2, CH2, they can be on either side, it doesn't matter, as long as we know, that just simply tells us that each carbon is bonded to two other carbons and two hydrogens. And then, if you look at this end, we can see this is CH3, maybe we can just write, right, it's carbon with three hydrogens, maybe we'll just write CH3 over here. And that's a representation for one of the isomers of heptane. Let's take a look at, to be systematic, the next step we'll do is we'll put six carbons in a chain, much like we did here, but rather than putting a carbon at the end, we'll put it in, we'll put it in the, uh, somewhere not exactly at the end. And we'll see that those look a little bit different. We we'll maybe put a carbon here. We put, draw another one. six carbons, and we'll put this in the second position from the end, and then we'll maybe go be systematic about uh, keep working our way down to the other end. You'll notice that I'm putting the carbons in opposite sides, but that really doesn't matter because remember, if, the, if, if it's on the left or the right, it doesn't matter because they're actually the same molecule. If you were to draw a model, you look at it, we'll find out that this is simply a matter of just flipping the molecule over. So it looks like we can draw four different six carbon chains that have different arrangements. But wait a minute. If we look at this one and this one, it looks like we just, if we take this molecule and we just flip it around, we'll get this molecule. So these two are actually equal. Similarly, if we take this molecule and this molecule, we take this molecule and we were to flip it around, we would end up with this molecule. So these are in fact equal, the same. So in fact, we drew, we drew four pictures, but we only have two unique molecules. So here we go back and we'll fill things out. Here's CH3, because that only has one hydrogen one carbon carbon bond. This has two carbon carbon bonds, so this is gonna be CH2. This has two carbon carbon bonds, this will be CH2, CH2. Wait, this carbon though has one, two, three. This is hydrogen that only has one hydrogen. These carbons both only have one carbon carbon bond, so they'll be CH3s. Finally, we'll look at these, and we see this two carbons with Oh, excuse me, I'm wrong one. 
Let's come back and complete the structure on this one. CH2, there's two carbon carbon bonds, CH2, three carbon carbon bonds, one, two, three, that's CH. This has got one CH3, CH2, CH3. I tend to put these hydrogens kind of where they're going to take up or be most convenient for me. It doesn't matter whether they're above or below in reality. Okay, so now we have added two more isomers to our heptane collection. Let's go, we've, so that was six, that was six carbons in a row. Let's go to five carbons in a row. Insert a new page. Okay. So let's put five carbons in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, we can't put the carbons on the end. If we put a carbon on the end, that would be six carbons, and we've already drawn the six carbon chains. So we'll step in here. We have one carbon here, and we could put another carbon here. Okay, that's seven carbons. Or we could have one, two, three, four, five. Or we could have put one carbon here, one carbon here. Or, okay, and those look like like they're uh, and those look pretty different. And we could put maybe put one, two, three, four, five. We have two more. We put two carbons up here. So these all look different. We have one carbon which has three two carbon units, one carbon which has two three carbon units in it that are kind of not the same, not, not linear. And this carbon in the middle has a two carbon linear unit, one carbon, anyways. You can see that those are all three are different. I think we're almost running out of choices here, but if we were to draw, let's say for example, um, I think you can see that these two are going to be the same because we can see that if we flip this one, if we flip this one around, flip it around, we'll get that same, we'll get that molecule. So we've drawn three new carbon-carbon chains. Now we just need to do is fill out the hydrogens. Here's CH3. CH3, CH3. This has got one, two, three carbons. We only have one hydrogen here. One, two, three carbons bonded to it. One hydrogen here. One, two, CH2, and this is CH3. Now you can see the pattern here. I'm going to go CH3, CH3, H, CH2, CH, CH3, CH. Okay, now you can fill in the hydrogens for the next one. Now if we were to go from a five carbon chain to a four carbon chain, that would be the next step to try to figure out the draw isomers. But I think I'll stop here and let you get back to this. And um, stop here and then let you think about that. Um, there's a lot of isomers I can draw. There's over 70 of them, so I'll stop at this point. Thank you.